Hey YouTube, myself Dipanshu Alawat and you are watching my YouTube channel Short Circuit. Today I will tell you how to make a homemade Arduino like this. And you can see this. And its rear view is this. The main benefit of uh, such type of Arduinos is they are smaller in size. If you wanna use them in your project, they will take a very less space because the original Arduino is bigger in size you can see this and also if you talk about the cost of these two Arduinos it cost around uh, about 700 and the cost of making my this Arduino is just uh, uh, about uh, 350 or 300 rupees around so today uh, now I will explain you how I made this here now I will explain you the main circuit of my Arduino. This is the main chip of my Arduino 80 Mega 328. Actually, this is a microcontroller. So uh, what you have to do? First of all, connect the pin one to uh, plus five volt uh, via 10k resistor. It's a pull-up resistor, and then connect uh, pin seven to plus five volt. It's a uh, VCC. And uh, this uh, capacitor is optional if you want to connect it, you can connect if you want to leave, uh, don't want to connect this capacitor, you can leave it uh, as it is. Uh, actually, this is for uh, removing the, um, uh, removing, what's uh, going on? Actually, this is a smoother capacitor uh, used uh, at input and uh, connect your pin 8 of this chip to ground and pin 9 and pin 10 to the crystal it's a 16 megahertz crystal used here and connect uh, this pin 9 and pin 10 to ground via these two capacitors uh, this uh, value of these both capacitors is 22 picofarad and uh, uh, on the other side connect pin 22 to the ground and pin 21 and 20 to plus 5 volt and pin 19 is our pin, digital pin 13 here we will connect, connect our LED and we will see if it's glowing or not we will upload a blank sketch from example the simplest uh, um, Arduino sketch to check whether our Arduino works or not so now let's make it on blackboard so let's start this is our microcontroller fix it here now I will connect these two wires these are my supply wires and I am choosing my internal rail this one as positive and the outer one will be my negative connect them together now this is the pin 1 of our microcontroller here so how will you know that this is the pin 1 so best thing is uh, there is a notch at this end so from see the end which has notch and from that end see the left point and that left point is our pin number 1 and then from there start counting like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the numbering of pin and this is valued for any IC now I will connect this pin 1 to plus 5 volt using a 10k resistor like this it's pulled up and uh, here we see we have pin 7 connected to our plus 5 volt so pin 7 is 1 2 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 this is our pin 7 so connect it to plus 5 volt like this and pin 8 is connected to ground the next pin is pin 8 connected to ground like this you can see this clearly now I will connect my crystal, it's a 16 megahertz crystal, 
it provides the clock pulse to our microcontroller and this is very necessary now I will connect it to pin 9 and pin 10 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 these two pins are 9 and 10 now connect to capacitors these uh, both of them are of 22 microfarad one of their terminal will be connected to crystal and another will be another one will be connected to ground that is with the point uh, pin 8 and pin 9 and another will be con another one will be connected between pin 8 and pin 10 connect them carefully there is not enough space okay after this we have to connect pin 22 to ground so how will we we know which pin is pin 22 actually if we will start counting from there the last pin will be pin 14 because total pin are 28 14 pin on this side and 14 pin on this side so pin this is pin 14 and this pin is pin 15 and not this one so 14 here then 15 16 17 18 19 20 this is the pin number 20 so connect it to plus 5 volt like this then connect pin 21 and 22 sorry pin 22 will be connected to ground 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 okay this pin will be connected to ground then connect pin 21 and 22 to plus 5 volt this is 20 then this is 21 connect it to plus 5 volt and pin 20 to plus 5 volt once again double check everything let me check this 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 20, 20 now the pin number 19 is our digital pin 13 now we will connect our LED to pin 19 this is pin 19 using a 220 ohm resistor the resist this is a current limiting resistor so that our LED will not burn now connect one terminal of our LED to ground and another one to the resistor now we will connect one more LED this will be our power LED which will show that our circuit is powered up or not connect one of its terminal to positive rail and another one to ground using a 220 ohm resistor like this and uh, be careful about the terminals of these LEDs connect anode to anode and cathode to cathode double check everything once again okay. everything is connected properly now connect uh, the power terminals now you will connect them you can connect them anywhere so let's select them here oh they are short circuited let me fix it be careful while using such type of terminals ok here we go like this now I will power up my this board using original Arduino connected to my laptop and my uh, green wire is ground and this yellow wire is plus 5 volt I will take power from Arduino board now let's connect this like this it's powered up and our board is not working something went wrong oh this LED is not connected properly like this I have uploaded a sketch of blinking sketch 
with a delay of 100 microsecond and the Arduino board is working perfectly if you want to program it program reprogram this chip remove it from here carefully and then plug it back into your Arduino board then program it and then again now this uh, it Arduino is working perfectly if you like this video hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel short circuit and if you have any query or any doubt then feel free to post the comment i will reply thanks for watching